Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia here with another project for cat scrappiness. In today's video, we're going to be using some of the new hippity hoppity goodies from cat scrappiness and some scraps to make a cute quick and easy card. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. In front of me are the main cat scrappiness supplies that I will be using for today's cards. We will go over that here in just a second, but as I add anything else later on, I will be sure to let you know. If I do leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Over here on the left is the Scoop of Love die set. This was released a couple months ago, but I thought that this heart here would make a great background for my little bunny, which I will be choosing this little cute one down here with the flower for today's card. Now besides the Hippity Hoppity Bunny stamp set, I will be using the Hippity Hoppity Sentiments as well. Today I am going to be using Some Bunny Loves You and we're going to be chopping it up into sections for that sentiment and I'll show you later how I avoid doctoring the stamp to get that look. Over on the right is the Hop Into Easter 6x8 paper pad. I will be using some scraps from this. And for an extra little pop of color, because there's going to be just a little bit on this card, I got out the Bubblicious Pearl Mix. I will have all of these products listed in that description box below if you want to check them out. Let's get crafty! To get started on today's card, I'm going to be doing the stamping. This cute little bunny will be colored later with some alcohol markers, so I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink on a scrap of Nina Solar White. I just centered the image in the scrap, and then I inked up and stamped it twice to get a nice solid outline. Now we're going to work on the sentiment. Like I mentioned before, I will be using Some Bunny Loves You, and I want it in three different pieces. Now, you could very easily cut the stamp into three sections and later piece it back together if you want to, but you know what? I have a lot of scrap cardstock, so I'm just going to stamp it three times onto this piece of black. Some other items I need for this is just a dry paintbrush, Versamark ink, and detail white embossing powder. I did prep the black cardstock with the Cat Scrappiness embossing powder tool. This will just help me get the powder to stick only to where the ink goes. I set up my sentiment stamp toward the top of this scrap of cardstock. I inked it up and stamped it one time and then I moved the cardstock up about an inch and I just used that ruler on the side and then inked it up and stamped it two more times. Once those had all been stamped, I brought in my Detail White Embossing Powder and I poured it over the stamped area and tapped it off. Now when I do embossing powder, I do usually pour it on twice just to make sure I get good coverage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of erasing the powder that I don't want to melt later. Now if some of your sentiments, if words look better than on others, like if one of my bunnies wouldn't have been stamped well, then that would have been one of the ones I chose to erase. But all I do is just wipe off the powder that I don't want to melt with this dry brush. Now you might have to, you know, tap off the powder on your brush if it gets too full, but just take your time, get off as much powder as you want, and then you can pull in your heat tool and heat set those three sentiments. When you emboss on a dark cardstock, sometimes the powder shows up a little fuzzy on there. So once that embossing powder had cooled down, I brought in a Swiffer cloth and just wiped that. I think it helps get that cardstock back to a nice solid black. 
Once that was done, I brought in my little scissors and I just fussy cut these sediments out quickly. It is supposed to look kind of, you know, like a ransom note or like, you know, you had just cut these words out of a magazine for the card. So this doesn't have to be perfect. Now it's time to get some color added to our little bunny. I'm going to be coloring her bow and the petals on the flower with a blue to match the pattern paper that you'll see me use later. Then the center of the flower got colored with yellow and I used a light pink for her cheeks. Now I will show you the entire process, but if you don't want to see it, you can skip ahead about 30 or 40 seconds. To finish up the pieces for the cards, we're going to be using some scraps. From the paper pad, I chose this kind of teal gingham. And then to die cut my heart with, I got out a scrap of vellum from my stash. I did want a small white border on my card front, so I brought in my Fiskars trimmer and I cut this piece down to 4x4. Four off camera, I cut and folded a four and a quarter inch square card base, and I also hung on to the largest strip that I cut off my pattern paper piece. I thought this would be a nice decoration to add on the inside, so using some liquid glue so I have some wiggle time, I added adhesive to the back and placed that on the inside of the card. Next, I added the square of pattern paper centered on the front of the card, and then before I could adhere my vellum heart, I needed to figure out where all of the other elements would be placed so I knew where I could hide the adhesive. So once I kind of had those pieces in place, I took the heart off to the side, and using some liquid glue, I placed it on the back of the pieces, right now it is just the sentiment, and placed these onto the vellum. Now I am going to pop my bunny up later, but I do want to go ahead and add some adhesive where that will be. So I figured out where that was and added just a little bit behind where the bunny would go. Then I centered this heart onto the card front and I set it aside to dry for about 5 minutes. While the glue was drying, I added foam tape to the back of my bunny and I popped it up on the front of the card. I tried to get it so the ears would go between the sum and bunny to fill up that area. And then to finish it off, I wanted to add another pop of color, so I chose these pink bubblicious pearls. I did spend quite a bit of time figuring out where I wanted them to go, and I ended up eventually doing this off camera. But once I had the pearls in their place, which I ended up kind of having them go from the upper left of the heart down to the bottom right, I brought in my art glitter glue and I placed a dot of glue where I wanted each pearl to go. Now I did let that get tacky for about 10 seconds before I brought in my jewel picker and placed a pearl onto each of those dots of glue. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's quick and easy card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.